Welcome back, it's Gaming for XP here. Hope you are well. Um, today I thought we'd try and just get some of the inside rooms defined uh, with the building and do a little bit of decoration, a little bit of building. I have apologised that if this is a little bit dark, this footage, but I thought I'd try my hand at a little bit of nighttime building. The second part of this is a little bit brighter because I, I, I realise halfway through that I'm, it's, it's a bit dark and um, I stop the building and have a bit of a sleep because, yeah, why not? So, a little bit of a surprise that my old mate from Workshop Rearranged gave me. <clears throat> and I said, as I said in part one, recently updated the workshop rearranged mod and everybody that has watched me forever knows I love that mod but if you don't I love that mod just getting it out there um, so these floor pieces are pretty standard and they've been there for a while and I, I don't know why here I I know why it doesn't fit but I just get lazy and don't put this last piece in eventually I do but for this build I don't know why I just look it fits there Anyway, never mind. I just didn't think it was all too much. Just run away and ignore it. It'll fix, fix itself probably. Just hide it from there. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of surprises that um, the developers put in here for me. Now, this is the new section here of wallpaper. And I'm like, whoa, hang on a second. I've not seen this before. So I got a little bit excited here and I... Sorry, but I'm going to flick through pretty much everything that he's got, he's got in here because I haven't seen it before. So you're seeing it for the first time like I was during the build. Going, oh, okay. So what can we use? Blue is a bit dark. Green. And here, the developer actually helps me here because I'll, I'll wait until it happens. But ah, you got pieces for the door too. I love that. Fantastic, look at that. Look at that. I wish wallpapering was so easy, guys. As it is here. I don't know why it won't snap to that, but I'm not really bothered. I'm going to leave that exposed brick in the corner there. I think it looks okay. Okay, so I'm running back and forward in excitement here now. Um, okay, what can I put on these walls? Because I want each room to be a little bit different. And yes, I've still got a problem in my throat, so I apologise if I cough or splatter or sound a bit croaky. That's why I'm during this video. So here's where I start to see a bit of an issue happening. See, the way I've built those windows, that doesn't actually fit up there. And it's nothing to do with the, the wallpaper or the these panels. It's the way I've built the window. So he actually helps me in as much as I have to actually rethink... If I want all the walls to be uniform in here, I have to rethink how I do those windows and actually come up with a very good solution. And I'm really happy with it. It actually improves the overall look of the building and also solves up that issue of having those panels. Now, I'm going to try and fit them a couple more times because I'm, I'm a bit persistent at times. Um, or a bit silly, I don't know, either or. Um, but I trying different things but nothing works I'll tell you right now but you can you can watch me struggle for another five minutes or whatnot okay so what do we got on so that's right I had to sleep I realized I was building in the dark so a couple of barrels there and one's broken no idea why but, you know that one's fine anyway doesn't really matter I think it helps with the scrappy look a bit of an issue with the wall there. I'm not sure what happened there. That's all flash. That's not. I don't care. That's fine. It'll be fine. Now look at the new windows. Wow. Look at this. And look, look at the, it's all uniform. Wow. 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 Isn't that amazing? And I think it just looks a little bit nicer. How did I do it? Maybe we'll go upstairs and I'll show you. Yeah, let's do that. I'll show you how to put these windows in. If, here we go. Load up the bit. 
So they're pretty simple. They're pr really pretty simple. So of course I've got to get rid of these walls first. But again, we're going back to the good old favourite greenhouse tartan. And we have these long windows here. There we go. I think my two, three should be enough. Just get rid of these walls for now. <laughs> of course, if you watched the first episode, you know I've got to try and now remember what type of brick blocks I was using. It's going to be the, the most difficult part of the build. Yeah, I'll flick through a few. Well, maybe I've learned a thing or two. Okay, so let's find these half walls here. Now, just be careful when you're doing this that that's snapped in right across. Yeah, like I said in the first build, they do. Um, the, the, the snapping takes together takes a bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, you're pretty, pretty set. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Very simple solution, but it took me a while to figure it out. Um, but again, I think it's certainly the overall look for the building and the look I'm trying to to get to, and the fact that it's you know, if you've <laughs> course you would have seen the thumbnail so you know it's a minute minute man um, minute man HQ now but for the minute man overall look I think it works it, it certainly works for me a lot better it looks much more like a colonial style home and I think it just fits in with that faction perfectly so we're going to go back to the warehouse tab and grab a couple more of those windows now I think I'm right in saying that if you have the warehouse tab, they might not necessarily be in there. I think my friend from Workshop Rearranged has put these in here for me. Um, I'm sure he will write to me or she will write to me and let me know if I am wrong. So we'll just finish up the walls here. And I love the fact that it remembers the last uh, flux you used, so you don't have to go searching. Okay, oh, that's right, and I put a little bit of a railing on the top of the stairs there, you there, right there. Yeah. Yep. And that, if you've seen my builds before, you know where that comes from. I'm snapping build. It's about the only one of the few things I do use from snapping build, but I can't get rid of snapping build because I like those real ones, so. Okay, what are we going to do next? Okay, so we're going to do a bit of decoration out the front here. And because it is a Minutemen um, build, I think there's got to be some... It's got to be a military look or at least some fortification look about it. So put these sandbags in in the front come on that's it thank you but I'll make sure it's uniform on both sides if they flick up like that you just spin them around like I did and they should fit together nicely if you want them to go into them if you want them to kind of intermingle just use the pillow bridge the rug or you know I do place it anywhere, but you know, it's whatever works, whatever you have at hand. Yeah. I'll move those cannons several more times before I'm finished the build. So, here I'm just looking for something that will fit into that gap there. And um, there's some materials here that I haven't showed you before. I'll find them in a second. So, this is a process of looking through what I've got at hand. I thought about these walls here but they keep snapping up. I like the barbed wire there but no, not those. Just working my way through all the different things that I've got and see what will fit. That could have worked I think but what were these? These ruined wood walls panels for now. Just adds to the scrappy look. One on each side. Should we put a different one in here? Not the same. Yeah, that looks okay. Maybe we use a different one. Just break the break it up a little bit. Just to break up the 
the stone look. Just give it a little bit more depth. Of course the first one went in perfectly and this one's fine, we did never mind. The walls of a builder. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that looks okay. That looks good. I'm, I like that. Okay, what next? Let's run around for a little bit. Yep, let's have a look. Yep, still there. Looks all good. Come on, you, I know you're thinking about what you want to do next. Come on, let's do it. Okay. Are we going to do a bit of decoration, perhaps? I think we may be. Okay, yep. Let's do it yourself, or do it yourself, whichever. Sorry, bad dad jokes. Okay, we, why don't we um, do a bit of decoration in here? This is going to be the general's office in here. And first of all, I tried this counter here now. I've seen somebody use this before. My depot, I think it was, where he could sink that down into the into the foundation. Unfortunately, because I've put that flooring in, I can't do that. So I have to use a different solution. But this looks all right. Fancy little desk there. Nice colonial look around about it. That that works. So here's the decoration part of the thing. Now, one of the things I'd advise that you do, and, and again, this was a post that um, I'll leave a link in the description to his website. But I was watching him his video the other day, and he was talking about the order you do things in, and and Certainly when you're decorating something like this, um, what he suggests is get all the stuff you're going to put on the walls, do that first. Then do your rugs and on the floor and stuff like that. And then put start putting your big furniture in after that. And that certainly works here. I, I think it's good, it's good uh, advice um, when you're doing decoration or doing when, once you're kicking out a room or putting stuff in a room. So I'm trying to follow that formula as much as possible. <clears throat> Looking for the different rugs now. I wonder if I, now here's a top tip. If you, you see how that's green? If you just move it to, so it collides with something, you'll actually be able to see what it looks like. And what I'm also doing here is I'm adding things onto the rug and then you can pick them all up at once and move them around together. And the position it helps with the positioning so let's do the let's do some put some paintings on the walls and again I love these I love the fact that I've got different frames to pick from Very military looking guys all over the place. Oop, what was that? Okay, so I'm, as you can see, I'm putting a lot of these on the walls out here, just following that same kind of thinking. Um, doesn't matter if you're gonna, you know, you might not use them, but at least they're on the walls and, and they're out of the way before you start doing anything else in the room. So you're almost like um, just marking it for, for later reference, I guess. This guy, maybe this guy, yeah, this guy, yeah. Yep, yeah. it's fine. I don't know about you, but when you're decorating, I, I tend to flick back and forth through a whole heap of menus because I'm, I'm having ideas of different elements in the room that I want to add, so this is pretty much what's going on here. A couple of visitors chairs, have a meeting with the uh, the general, and I think the general deserves a nice comfy chair, so we'll put a nice comfy chair in there. That works. One of the big things with this build is to try and see how I'm moving everything with the rug. One of the big things with the, the, the build is to try and keep that look 
consistent. Um, you know, as I said, it, it's almost a colonial, older style building, and I want to, it to look a little bit older inside in its decor as well. Decor, there's a posh word there. I'm not quite happy with this, so I want to move it across just a fraction. And I think these bookshelves work much better in this corner here than where I had them. Okay, so what are we going to put in next? So, uh, do it your shelf is great. Tons of books. Let's fill them up. All different configurations. Tons of different configurations of different books. And you can just go ballistic in it. Very quick decoration. Not the well, <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not the world's best decorator, so for me, it's perfect for me. There we go. Bookcase, all my bookcase within seconds. Okay. And so it's just a process. This is just a process of thinking about what you want to have in the room. Sometimes I get to a certain point and I think uh, I, I run out of ideas or things are just not happening or not working, so I'll leave it, I'll go and do something else and come back a little bit later and you'll see in the final walkthrough that this does change quite a bit in here in as much as the stuff that I end up adding into the into the room so I'm just going through and looking for different trying to remember where all the different things are in, in the mods that I want to use um, that's the one I'm looking for. World map. And that's the thing, as I've said many times before, one of the, the big key things is to try and remember where everything is in your room. If, after you get so many mods up and running, you tend to forget about it. These look as though they would fit in here. That's what I mean by just making sure that you've got a reasonable amount of continuity. But the overall look of what fits in here and um, what makes sense. How many more do we need? A couple more? Does that fit there? Uh, see that doesn't quite work for me there. Does that work there? No, probably not. Go back where it was. See, and this is the this is the process. Just try things. Run outside, come back in, try run back outside again. Okay, so what's next? What we're we gonna do next? So this is really just placeholders and getting things in place, putting them where I think they should go. That table looks a little bit smaller and it actually fits in that space nicely. Yep, that's good. Maybe just maybe I could should change that table there to the smaller one too. That looks better. corner there yep and use all that same furniture and again I've, I've had this furniture for a while never really had a build to use it for so I'd, I've used it every so often but this it fits perfectly with this build for sure what should we do next okay so we'll just put the rugs down in here we might not use them but let's put them down in here to start see how I've made a collision against the wall so I can actually see what these look like. So I just flick through it. Just gives you a, a better look at them as you're flicking through. I think the horns probably a good fit for what we're after. Yep, that would do. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. It's um, I think we've done well today. 
make sure you tune in next episode, uh, the final episode, to see the finishing touches to the HQ. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.